We are not good at YouTube. We have nine ducks. So there's eight brown ones and that one white one. And the white one's kind of like the mom, but they follow her around, or he, around everywhere. So we don't really know if they're boys or girls yet. So we just gotta wait till they get a little bit older. But there's three different types. So the white one's a peeking duck, and then there's the brown ones that we don't know what they ca are called. And then there's that one that's right, right there that's different colored than all the others. That's a different type too. But, so, there's their enclosure. They're just eating grass, but they go through a ton of water, because usually this little swimming pool's empty, and that little watering thing is empty, and they drink out of puddles, and they splash in the mud, and they wag their little tails, and it's just so, super cute. So, this is one of our chicken coops. We tore down one that was just a shed that we got when we bought the house. So we tore that down because it was just rotting and falling apart. So we built this one out of pallets and sheet metal off of the other shed that we tore down. But this one's been pretty good. Our nesting boxes out of cat litter buckets. And they work pretty well, except for when the turkins break the eggs. But so far it's worked great. And then we have this red coop. Actually, I'm pretty sure it used to be a dog house, but there's a nesting box in there too, made out of cat litter buckets. But the chickens are all in the forest right now, somewhere in there. There's some of them. They all like to sit under the rabbit hutch right here. Most of them are packed under there because it's that's the only part of shade. This is that white rooster right there is Spot. We call him Spot because whenever we're up at the house, he comes and runs and follows us around with all his ladies. But we got all types of chickens. Those are the turkins, the one without neck feathers. They're creepy. We got four of them. And they all just follow each other like they're in one gang of just turkins. And we got these brown ones with a different rooster. And they were all um, they were all hurt. There's the rooster that they came with. <laughs> they were all, they were missing feathers and were not looking good. So we got them and now they're pretty good. They were missing feathers, eating each other's feathers because they weren't getting fed. There's another rooster over here named Mac. This one is named Rover. So 
Mac is a silky chicken, so he has fluffy feet. And the little girls love him so much. So yeah. Here was our chicks. We got them the same time when we got our ducks. But so we got different colored egg layers. So we're just waiting for them to be able to lay eggs and we're hoping that most of them are girls. But so we got blue egg layers. I think we got green egg layers and pink egg layers, I think. But we're just waiting to see which is which, if they're roosters or girls. But, so they're in this enclosure. It used to be a rabbit tractor. And then we used to have cockerels in it. All roosters in it. But there's electric wire around it because we had a predator problem. But we haven't had that problem for a while. But they're doing pretty good. They're growing up fast. So now we're just waiting for them to grow up the rest of the way. Here is Panda. He's one of our buck rabbits. He is a good rabbit. He loves being pet. And he loves having attention. And if you stick your finger through, he will just rub your, his scent all over you. But he's super sweet and we love him. Here is our baby bunnies. They're all from this mom right here. We bred her with Panda. So she had nine babies, I think. So we just have like tubes for them to go through and stuff that they can hide in. But so we got black ones, brown ones, spotty ones. Hi! They're all trying to say hi now. But they're super sweet and nice. This is the lip this is our first litter that we have that have been super sweet. She used to be mean, but I think it got bred out of her, so now she's nice because she had babies. But they're just super curious and super sweet. This is Bertha. We bred her with Houdini, but she didn't have babies. So we think he's a dud, but she keeps pulling fur and sticking it in a nest, even though she's past the day that she is going to have babies. So we know that she's not going to have babies, but she keeps making it a nest. So she's just being silly. So we have Houdini. He's back here. And that's the mama. But he is the one that we bred Bertha with. He's a silver fox, and so is she. So she's had good litters with Panda, but not had a litter with Houdini yet.